What is going on, you guys? It is The Talking Sasquatch, and it's great to have you back. Now, a few months ago, I showed off this amazing little computer by M5 Stack. Now, this amazing little guy is powered by an ESP32-S3. If you want to learn more about the original specs on this thing, check out the first video. But since I made that video, there have been a ton of enhancements on this thing. In typical Talking Sasquatch fashion, in literally days of me dropping that video, huge developments happened, including this. Yeah, you saw it right. It's running Doom and actually running it quite well. And in true M5 stack fashion, installing all of these programs are absolutely easier than ever. And what's even cooler than M5 Burner is actually what's called the M5 Launcher. What's so cool about M5 Launcher is it actually allows you to burn firmware directly on the card computer itself. No need for a PC. Now you can switch back and forth between like Bruce, Nemo, uh, Evil M5, any of those projects on the go without having to do anything except press a few buttons. It's super cool. M5 Burner even allows you to download new firmware directly to the SD card. Again, no need for a PC. God, I love this little card computer. Let's get out. At it. All right, so first things first, all we got to do is download the M5 burner software and we can start putting some firmware onto our card computer. So let's pop on down to the desktop and take a look. So we're going to download the M5 burner software. I always just Google it. I mean, I guess it's at docs.m5stack.com or whatever, but I just Google it. It's easier for me. And then we're going to look for the M5 burner for Windows because I'm on Windows. Obviously, if you have a Mac or Linux, use those. Go ahead, download this right to our desktop right here we go. Minimize this, go to our desktop, just right click, go to extract all, extract. And then here we are right here. All we have to do from there is open up M5 burner and then our application is going to run. It always tells you that Windows doesn't like it. It thinks it's unsigned. It's fine. It's M5. Those guys are great. All right. And here we are. So we can go ahead and scroll down to card pewter. I always like to start the program before I plug in my card pewter because you'll notice I'm going to plug it in right now. And what happens is it says found new device on COM8. So now I know exactly which COM port we're on. So yeah, now we can start to see all of the new programs that they have on here. So we'll have right here the M5 launcher. I'm going to circle back to this one because yeah, M5 launcher is probably one of the most powerful, best things for the card pewter. It's amazing. They've got all sorts of updates. Evil card pewter has got a bunch of cool stuff I'll talk about a little bit later on, and that'll be updated by the time this video drops. A lot of these firmwares actually have pretty good updates. So definitely check everything out when you go through. Game Boy Enhanced Firmware is really cool too. They added a lot of features, including larger file sizes. The first time I ran this, it was pretty much low file size. You could play like Tetris and stuff. Now you can play it pretty much anything. Super, super cool. But right now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna scroll down and we're gonna install Doom because Doom is awesome. Here we go, Doom for card pewter. So one thing to note is that Doom is not compatible with the M5 launcher. That's why I'm gonna show it to you first. So we're gonna have to burn this on our own. So let's we'll go ahead and click download and then burn. Unofficial firmware, we know, click continue. We know we're on COM8, so let's just hit start and it's gonna go ahead and do a thing. Give it some time, it'll finish up in just a second. After these messages, we'll be right back. Hey, what do you know? Just like that, it's done. Burn successfully. Click here to return, and that's going to restart the card, Peter. Actually, let's switch to the top-down camera and check it out. Hey, here we go. It's actually Doom. Uh, let's get into a game. It actually has audio, too, which is really, really cool. Uh, you probably can't hear it, but that's okay. Let's get in it. Now, it's a little hard to control because I have fat thumbs, but everything works as it should, pretty much. We got function, opens doors, we can shoot with this. Got him. Let's keep going. Whoops, pressing too many buttons. Eh. Got him. Probably get closer since I can't even see. It's amazing that this thing actually works. This is an ESP32 S3. This is not like particularly great hardware. Did I get him? Oh, that guy's gonna kill me. I should probably run. Yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. Oh gosh. Come on, come on. Open. Shoot. Fatality. 
Now, yes, I know Doom on anything is kind of a gimmick, especially how hard it is to play, but you saw it's very, very playable. And it's not some like Doom on Flipper Zero kind of thing where it's like completely fake Doom, it doesn't do anything. That's the real game. That's pretty cool. Now, this Doom was actually from Romalik and was ported over by another product by Doomhack. Apparently, it actually supports the whole game, I think. I don't know if anybody's actually played that far in Doom. Please let me know. All right, let's get back down to the desktop and see some more cool stuff. All right, so what I want to do now actually is go all the way back up here to get to M5 Launcher, because this is the ticket right here. So let's go ahead, download and install. Forgot to plug in the card computer. Here we go. Click burn, continue, and start. Gonna go ahead and install this. Two very boring minutes later. And just like that, we're done. So yeah, pop on down. We'll take a look at this guy. Oh, here we go. They actually added this super cool kind of matrixy background to it. Again, this came out right after I made my last video. All right, so now we can actually load up firmware that's already on the SD card. You can see I've already actually put a bunch of stuff on here. However, we can go back and just download stuff directly from the internet. So if we go over to here to OTA, it's going to go ahead and it says scanning. It's scanning for Wi-Fi right now. It's going to find all the Wi-Fi's. It found my Wi-Fi and it actually already has my password saved. Super nice, saves me a bunch of work. And here we are, this is the repository right now. This is all of the different firmwares that are available that work on the M5 card pewter. And that brings us to today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop when it comes to PCB manufacturing, 3D printing, CNC, and more. And guess what? Right now, PCBWay is celebrating its 10th anniversary. What that means for you is coupons, exclusive content, and more. You can even play Lucky Draw for a chance to win all sorts of cool prizes. Creating something awesome has never been easier and more fun. So check out PCBWay's 10th anniversary sale. Link down below. As always, thank you so much, PCBWay, for all your support. Let's get back at it. Very cool. So let's keep going, keep going, keep going. I want to check out, oh yeah, Card Pewter Laura Chat. Very cool. You can get a Laura module for this and use it just like a Helltech or something like that. Uh, so yeah, if M5, if you're watching, uh, hit me up at the Talking Sasquatch and maybe um, I can try one, please. <laughs> uh, let's keep going. Um, let's see, what do I want here? I want Evil Portal. No, I want Evil Card Pewter by the other one. Click OK here and then Options. And then we can do an OTA install. So let's do that. Uh, we don't need spiffs for the moment and then installing firmware. Now it takes a moment because we're actually downloading the firmware at the same time. If I save it to the SD card, it actually goes a bunch faster and I'll show you that in a second. Boom, and just like that, we have Evil Card Peter by the other one. All right, so since the last time we took a look at this, he's added a bunch of stuff. Now you can actually scan a network and scan for ports. You can connect to SSH. Uh, it's got a web crawler. You can actually crawl websites and look for vulnerabilities. Like, look at all of this stuff. Wall of Flipper. I mean, I think I was on there before. You can send Tesla code. Like, again, there is so many things that Evil Card Peter can do. It's really, really awesome fantastic work the other one so one of the cool things about m5 launcher is if you hit the restart button it actually shows the screen for m5 launcher and if you press a button you can actually get back to the m5 launcher so you don't have to launch directly into whatever firmware you just installed there's also a user web interface which is super cool too so if you connect to your network scanning get back into the network here we go and you have an ip address and some information let's pull that up on the computer and see what that looks like all right cool so if we go to m5launcher.local you've got a sign in page and mine's just admin and then m5launcher here we go very very cool so yeah we can see all of the files that i have on here already you can actually add or delete stuff which is super cool you can upload folders drag and drop you can do an ota update you can reboot it i mean you can do so many cool things just from the computer using this again i absolutely love the m5 launcher they've done such a great job with that all right let's get out of this and try something else uh, okay to stop okay all right, so let's go back to OTA. Got to reconnect again, just a second. Oh, that's right, it said I had to restart to re-enable OTA, so that's what we're doing. Click OK, scanning, cool. So what I want to try is the ultimate remote control. Let's see if we can find this, where are we at? Do, 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 do. Oh, user, nope, there we go. Enter, let's load this guy up, install. Oh, this thing looks cool, this top option is scanner. We have favorites, populars, and then all remotes. Let's see what we have under all remotes. Oh, wow. Yeah, they've got a lot of stuff in here. Let's go. Wow. So we have remotes for just about everything here. 
video projector, bunch of different remotes for the different video projectors. Wow, that's cool. So yeah, just another really cool program on the M5 card pewter. Man, you can easily see why I love this thing so much. And for only $30, you can have one of these yourself. With the like, quote, app store that they have on there growing by the day, more and more software is being made for it and it's getting more and more useful. And being able to switch firmwares and even download firmware directly from the card pewter itself, it's absolutely amazing and so easy to use. Combine that with Marauder and Evil M5, the amount of actual kind of hacking capabilities is really pretty high as well. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you more of the cool stuff that the card pewter can do. Thanks as always. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You guys are absolute legends and we'll catch you next time.